Hello guys, welcome back to Brie with Tea. Today I'm actually going to talk about something a little different. So I'm actually going to talk about why I decided to go back to school for information technology. Let's start from the beginning. So funny enough, my dad is actually a networks engineer slash DevOps engineer. So he deals with like the infrastructure of computer networks, blah, blah, blah. I don't really know the details too much. I just know that it looks complicated and hard. And my brother is actually a software engineer for Microsoft, which is really cool. Um, so I've always had, you know, high tech people. And my first cousin, he's a data scientist. I have another cousin who is a UI UX designer. So I have a pretty like well-rounded broad of tech people um, in my family, particularly. So um, funny enough, like I never like looked into tech. I always thought that it looked hard. I thought that tech was like for smart people. I never saw myself like as that particularly like smart person. One day, you know, I was on Instagram and stuff and I kept seeing like these girls and you know, they was lit. Like they, they had, you know, they was on vacation. They was working remote. They're making good money. They had nice apartments and stuff. I'm like, wow, that's cool. So funny enough, I actually did go to school. Like I started, I didn't finish. So I did three semesters. I was a psychology major and um, I ended up flunking out. Um, I was gonna lose my financial aid. So I ended up just dropping out. Um, but I didn't really realize that if I transferred to another school, I had another shot, but I just dropped it because I thought school wasn't for me and I want to get into beauty. I want to do hair, nails, all this stuff. And you know, I ended up trying it and doing it and I hated it because I honestly don't really like things that involve me just like doing things all day and like working with my hands. Like personally, like that is like annoying to me. Like I don't mind like typing and stuff, but when it comes to like just drilling and separating, I just, it's not for me, I don't like it. So um, I was about to go to beauty school, I was like no. So. Anyways, I saw a whole bunch of things about tech like these black girls and they just like they're living nice So I did some research. Um, I was looking like like what tech was. I was still kind of confused So I actually called my brother. I should have called him first, but I called my brother. I'm like Andrew, that's my brother's name. Andrew like what the hell do you do? What do you do for your job? He's like I build apps. I build websites. I'm like wow, that's super cool Like that's really interesting. Yeah, like basically a designer like gives me like what they want in a website I build it for them. I make corrections as we go. I'm like that's really interesting So I went on Udemy and I found this course and it was actually originally like a hundred dollars But I got it for like 12 bucks. I feel like that was the Lord like just trying to really like get me in there So I bought the course I started the same day. I loved it. I was doing it every single day like it was just a lot of fun for me like I was really enjoying it so I was like this is what I want to do this is it like this is it the main thing is because I really loved the problem-solving aspect I loved the idea that I was getting these hard complex things and I was just figuring them out on my own just through research it's just very satisfying and I realized that that was the thing that I was missing in the the other job that I was originally want to do which was more so like therapy stuff like that it was just it was missing that little kick but I honestly feel like that tech is kind of um, psychology infused as well like if you're a psychology major you care a lot about people you have empathy I think that you would do great in tech I say that because a lot of things you have to cater to the people right you're making things that people need or maybe even something that you need or maybe something that can make someone's life easier something like that that all involves empathy and just basic understanding of humans emotional intelligence x y and z so i was able to kind of use that also as well like i'm making things that like you know i've made like little side projects and stuff and you know i've showed it to people and they've thought that you know it was very helpful was a great idea was something that they could actually use and i just love that aspect about it so funny enough my dad he um he found i was in tech he got super excited i think he was mostly just excited because i'm going back to school and he really wanted me to get my degree he was upset that i didn't finish the first time so he put me in a boot camp he wanted me to be 100 percent sure that tech was what i wanted to do just because i'm the type of person i'm very indecisive i'm very much but this is the first thing that clicked for me like this is the first thing i did and i was like wow like this is like this is me this is something that i really love doing and before i would actually you know 
I did photos for people. I was really into graphic design. So I was like, this is it. So my dad put me in this boot camp. It wasn't that expensive. I actually put the link down below. It was a great boot camp. It's super flexible, very cheap. So my dad threw me in there. He's like, listen, if you complete this boot camp, you get your certification that I know that you will be serious enough to go to college and that you will do this through. So I took that boot camp very serious. I did it. I finished it. I got A on all my assignments. I had a really good re connection like with my professor. She was very helpful and very on top of everything. And yeah, like I just, I was really excited about it. So I ended up applying for school. I applied to local school. I got in, decided to make my major information technology. And I do not regret it at all. And despite the fact that, you know, I'm going to have a very, like, high job satisfaction in, like, what I'm doing, I'm also going to be getting paid very well. Like, um, a lot of tech students I've been looking have been getting paid up to six figures right outside of college, which is really great. And I always wanted a degree where I didn't have to go to school for that long because, personally, I don't want to go to school for that long. When I was in the boot camp, I was actually the youngest person there. I'm actually 21 years old. Um, but there were people who were lawyers, um, there are people who were nurses, stuff like that. There are a lot of people who are older switching into tech. I'm here to tell you that it is not too late to get into this if you're interested in getting into this. And you don't have to go to school, like, you can just do the boot camp and start working like if you want like if you really take it serious you practice every single day you can absolutely go to boot camp and get a job however the reason why i took the path to go to school and go back to school is because number one i mean i don't really have much else to do i don't really want to go in the workforce right now like i kind of miss like my little college experience obviously i'm not going to be stupid and party like i did before but i kind of still want that kind of source of just network and family and just having people to reach out to i know that there's not a lot of black girls in tech in general or just going to school for tech so I wanted to be that example to put out for young girls to major in information technology or major in computer science whatever you're into personally I like information technology one because I don't have a lot of math I'm not really good at math and computer science kind of scares me a lot of science physics not really my thing I like about information technology is that you can do a lot of things. You could do cybersecurity, networking, computer programming, whatever you want to do. It's a very broad umbrella term. There's a lot of things that you can do. You could even work with hardware as well. I'm not into hardware, but if that's what you like, you could also do that as well. So I also just like that there's an, a bunch of things I could do. If I don't like coding forever, I can be a project manager or a product manager or anything like that, which I think is really, really cool. So yeah. That's kind of the main reasons why I decided to get into tech. I'm super excited to actually start school in the fall. I actually plan on making like videos surrounding me being a student. I feel like I can literally never find like people like me um, who are information technology students and on YouTube as well. So yeah, if you have any study hacks, if you want to network at all, let me know. I'll be posting videos every single Sunday from now on. It was definitely a pleasure like, you know, being able to speak to you guys. I miss you guys so much. If you like this video, be sure to like it, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe and I'll see you next week.